just wanted to quickly show you the way we rig up knife jigs when we're going jigging. Now there's lots of ways to do it. I've seen a lot of guys on our boat use different methods, PR knots and bobbins and what have you. I always found it's best to keep it simple because sometimes when the kingies aren't thick, you might be drifting fast over a patch and if you do lose a lure to a fish or to a snag or to a leather jacket, you want to get back into action fast. So I find it's best to do all the rigging at home and then if you lose a lure when you're out in the boat, you can get back into action quickly. Now this is what I do and it's been working for me for a long time. You'll need a few items, a spool of leader, some crimps, little tiny crimps, some of that plastic coated green wire that uh, gardeners use is very handy. A jig of course, a pair of braid scissors, a crimping tool and a cigarette lighter. And this is how you put it all together. First of all you take your knife jig. The hook of course, uh, the, the leader of course, is attached to the welded steel ring at the head of the jig. Um, never attach the leader to the split ring. If anything is to happen to the split ring during a fight on a big one, you want to be attached to the hook. And that's why you attach the leader to the stainless steel ring. This is what we do. We'll take a length of 80 pound braid, uh, 80 pound mono, I beg your pardon. Not too much, maybe 1.2 metres, something like that. And I cut it off with a pair of scissors. On one end, on the rod end, I'm going to put a little glass brass ring on with a crimp. So I put the leader through the crimp, then through the brass ring, and then back through the crimp again. And I draw it through like so. So with the end, grab hold of the cigarette lighter, and I cook the end of the leader. Just the tip, and as it starts to flare out, I just tap it while it's still hot on the metal windshield of the lighter, and that makes a little flange. Draw it back through, make a nice little loop like so. Grab hold of your leader and your crimping plies for 80 pound braid. 80 pound mono, I use a crimp that's suited for 80 to 130 pound and crimp it closed, like so. On the other end of the jig, on the other end of the leader, I'll put another crimp, a sleeve, and then I run the leader through the welded ring that I mentioned before. Back through the sleeve, cook the leader in once again, just a little, just heat it up a little, and tap it on the side of the lighter. Draw it down, give it a nice short loop, grab your crimping tool, and crimp everything up nice and tight. And you're good to go. Now with this method, you tie the end of your line directly onto the ring. Um, the braid that we offer on our website is original 100% polyethylene, often known as, under the brand names, um, Spectra and Dyneema. One of the good things about it is that when it's wet it's got a very slightly greasy feel. And what that means is you can tie a knot in it. Well here I'm just tying a locked blood knot which is a knot that is usually used for mono. And when you tie the loops 
ripping them down the line, form up a knot. The loops of braid roll over beautifully on each other. Now that setup's worked for me on kings up to 25 kilos. So I think it's, it's pretty well proven. Once you've um, made up your leader and jig attached, what I do is I just get hold of the leader and I curl it up into a little spool and then I take a little piece of gardening wire and just twist it around the leader like so like that and then into the tackle box or into the storage drawer on the boat and what that means if you do have a bust off when the action's hot it's only the work for a minute or so to just tie another jig and you're back into action and from what I've seen on our boat and on some of the charter boats it's a lot quicker to do that than to get out the bobbin and tie a PR knot or one of the complicated knots Hopefully that's been of interest. Thanks so much for viewing.